Hello everyone, my name is Blissful Melissa and today let me start off by saying it is hot outside. So the thermostat only says it's 87, but there's 65% humidity and it feels like 97. So that's how my day is going. So I look a little rough because I've been outside and it is hot. There's no breeze, just humidity. So in today's video, it is all about candles. As you guys know, if you watched some of my previous videos, you know that I'm obsessed with candles, that in my favorite videos, there's tons of candles, and when I do like hauls and things, there's always at least one candle that sneaks its way in. So I decided it was time to show you guys all of my candles in one place. Even though it is summertime, I'm gonna start with my winter candles because I can't wait for winter and smelling them makes me think of winter time. So this is my absolute favorite winter candle. I think I've already shared this with you guys, but it's fresh balsam and it smells like pine trees. So I actually have two of these. So I have this one and then when the Bath and Body had their sale, I got a brand new one because I'm almost out of this one. So now I have two. Another winter one I have is the Let It Snow, which is the pepperminty scented one. It's not one of my favorites because I'm not a big fan of mint and things, but this one does have a nice Christmassy touch. One of my favorite winter scents that I do like with tons of lotions and perfumes that I'm obsessed with is the Vanilla Bean Noel, which smells vanilla-y but more Christmas time. I'm really bad at explaining candle smells, but I know it smells really good. It can be a little strong sometimes because um, it's like sweet Christmas, but I still really enjoy it. Now that the winter ones are out of the way, I'll go into my mainly summer ones. So first, woo -hoo -hoo. So first I have strawberry mimosa, which, oh, wow, the strawberry smell. I adore this candle. My mom gave it, gave it to me, she's like, oh, I have this candle, I think you'd really like it. She was right, I love it. As you can tell, I'm so close to being out of it. A lot of these, I feel like, no, just this one. Then I have my Rainforest Gardenia with my little magnet on top. Ooh, yeah, my little magnet. This one, it was like, I don't think, it was not one of their newer scents, but I had never really smelled it before. And then my mom got the wallflower and then I got the candle because I love the wallflower. This one is very tropical and summery. It really just brightens up the room with the smell. When I have it burning in the evening, it's just like, I feel like I'm on vacation even though I'm in the comforts of my own home where it's hot and gross. A more recent candle I got is the Island Margarita, which you guys probably saw in one of my Bath and Body Hauls videos that I did the other day. This one I, I have mixed emotions about. As you can tell, I've only burned it a little bit. I've only had it for a short bit, but I don't know. It smells good. But bad to me? I don't know. I kind of have a sense of nose. Something I can't smell like ordinary things unless it's super strong and then I can smell it, which is really weird. So candles I love because they're super strong. But this one is good for burning like for short periods of time, but sometimes when you burn them for a long period of time, this one, I don't know, it kind of doesn't smell, it doesn't smell bitter. It just has an interesting aroma. But I would recommend it. It's very fruity and tropical and I don't know, very vacation-y I guess, but it's interesting. I would encourage you all to check it out. This is one of their new ones that they came out for this summer. So go to Bath and & Body and take a sniff and tell me how you feel about it. Now this one is kind of just for any time of the year, but it's the lemon one. Um, mm. I don't even know what to say about it. I love it. I love that it's in the black. This is the White Barn collection at Bath & Body. But lemon, oh, it just smells so fresh. I've burned this a lot in springtime because it just kind of brightened up the air because you know, you've been inside a lot in the winter and this candle definitely just freshened up everything and brought like a sense of life into your space. So I should really start burning it again in the summer because it is a very nice scent because it's just straight up lemon nothing else just lemon and I save one of my favorite Bath & Body candles for the last of the Bath & Body Works candles but it's the happiness candle the aromatherapy collection and 
I guess, uh, I think it's more of a mental thing for me. I just see this and it makes me happy. I smell this and it's just, it just gets me so excited. It's crazy. Because part of me is not like, oh, a candle can't make you feel things like scents can't. But this one honestly just makes me so happy. So it's the bergamot and mandarin. And it, oh, it just smells so nice. I have the soap in this as well. And I love it. It makes my day so much better when I burn this or I smell it or the bath bombs. I'm obsessed with this scent. So as you can tell, the majority of my candles were bath and body, but now we're gonna move on to non-bath and body work candles. So this one is Wild Honeysuckle. It's the mainstay brand. So it's, I think it's, you get them at Walmart. But it's Wild Honeysuckle. It smells very, oops, light and fresh and like flowers, kind of like you're in a meadow smelling flowers. But this one's very nice. I burned it at school up because it's small, even though we're not supposed to have candles, but don't tell anybody. But it's small and easy to hide, which sounds awful, oh my gosh. But this one smells really nice for springtime. And another mainstay candle is the Garden Rain, which I burned a lot. I've gotten a lot of these candles. They, it's kind of like the Rainforest Gardenia, but this is more rain smell. So if you know like after it rains, how there's that nice aroma like the sprinkle in the springtime this candle kind of captures that so it's definitely worth it i think these were only like 98 cents or something for this candle and it's pure happiness now i know this next candle was definitely in a favorites video because i've been obsessed with it because i really like apple scented things and this one is a green apple from Bass Pro Shop. So it has the cool little like mason jar lid and it has the wooden wick so it crackles. But it smells, oh my gosh. Oh, I love, it's awful. I love apples, green apples, red apple, any kind of apple. It smells like when you take a bite of a fresh juicy apple and kind of the smell and taste that's this candle. I don't know how they captured it, but it is beyond words to describe how good this candle actually is. And then my last candle is another apple one. This is the Apple and Pomegranate from Bloom and Prosper. So I got this one at Ross, maybe? If you go back in one of my haul videos, my big mall haul, you'll see this candle there and I'll tell you, I think it's Ross. I'm pretty sure, yep, it's Ross, but yeah. This one again, very apple-y, and this one's not a strong apple because it's a pomegranate, but it's very sweet, fruity, but definitely apple is the main smell you smell. And it's also huge, and I've been burning it a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ding the little bell if you want to get notified when I upload new videos, which I try and do every Tuesday and Friday. And please let me know what your favorite candles are down in the comments. I would love to go check them out, or if you have any recommendations of candles you think I'd like, feel free to drop those down below, and I'll see you all very soon.